Hello, and welcome back to The Weekly Show. A question that I get a lot from future professionals is, how high do I need to compete to feel qualified as a professional? Well, first off, you do not need to compete at the highest level of the sport to be a qualified professional. In fact, we need quality, prepared professionals at all levels of the sport to keep our industry strong. Now, having a competition record is an important part of your credentials, but the competition alone isn't what makes you qualified to be a professional. Think of competition as a test. If Sally says she's riding at a certain level, a competition allows her to compare herself among her peers across the industry to see, is she truly at that level? It's a test. But being a professional trainer is different. Not only are you riding at that level of competition, but you're able to develop horses and riders through the levels to that level. And that's the key difference. So there are young riders out there who are getting access to made schoolmaster horses and are moving up the levels quite quickly. First off, if that's you, that's awesome to have that experience. You're learning the levels, you're learning the skills, what a correctly trained horse is doing, you're doing it in a safe way. This is awesome experience. But that is different than developing a horse through the levels and having a systematic program to do so. Now, for those of you out there that are feeling frustrated because you're in that long, tedious process of developing a green horse or bringing a horse through the levels and learning yourself as you do that, it can be a long process and I don't need to tell you that, but you are learning something really critical for the rest of your career about developing a horse and you will continue to do that and keep learning as you take multiple horses through those levels. So no matter which one you're at, or maybe you have a bit of both in your life, which is great, it's, it's different. So getting back to the original question, how high do I need to compete to feel qualified as a professional? Well, unfortunately, I don't have a simple, straightforward answer for you, but I can tell you this. You need to focus on who you can serve, who you can get results for, and who you want to serve. There are all levels of the sport where you can feel like you can provide value to someone else. Let me give you my own personal example. I've ridden multiple horses at training prelim, and I've taken many horses off the track, have have campaigned them successfully, beginner novice, novice, and then sold them to owners who are now doing that for themselves, which is great. I've had a lot of teaching experience through Pony Club, through camps under respected mentors to work on my teaching and coaching over the years. I have groomed and ridden for, as a working student, for top riders here in the US as well as in Europe, and have seen what it takes to not only train a horse to the Olympic level, but have a comprehensive horse management program around that. And so it's a combination of all these different skills and experiences that allow me to feel qualified as a professional to primarily serve the grassroots of the industry. My program is all about introducing people to the sport of eventing, also supporting adult amateur dressage riders and introducing them to these disciplines in a safe, positive way. Always keeping the horses first and giving them a great experience. And because of this, I don't need to ride at the top of the sport. Now, my own personal riding goals, yes, I am moving in that direction. And all of these things that I'm continually learning, I can bring back and help my current clients. So you can think about that the same way for you in your situation and in your discipline. Who can you serve? Who do you enjoy serving? And then figure out what you need as far as a comp competition record to do so. Now, the one thing for me is because of the level that I've competed at, I know that my clients will hopefully, especially the ambitious teenagers out there, will hopefully outgrow me. And that is a great thing. I will help set them up with another professional who can continue to move them up the levels. And, and that's something that you need to stay humble about as a professional. Or the alternative is I could get into high gear, keep moving up those levels myself and continue to, to support my clients through those levels as well. So this is a, a way to frame this question of how high do you need to compete to feel qualified as a professional? Now, whatever you do, it's really important to not oversell yourself. Know who you can serve, who you can bring results to, 
And with horses, it's really important that we don't oversell ourselves, so that we don't put our horses or riders in unsafe situations. But as long as you are truly qualified and can have the holistic skills and preparations that make you a qualified professional, not just with your competition record that we know it takes time and finances and horsepower to get, um, that you can help who you're meant to help. So I hope that's really helpful for you and that you've got some valuable information today. Write a comment below if you have an opinion, thoughts, ideas on this topic of what level do you need to compete to feel qualified as a professional. I'm excited to hear it and I will see you again next week. Bye.